Hi guys, this is Oppo. Uh, I'm back with the Unity tips and tricks. Today you will uh, learn about uh, that how to import uh, uh, PBR asset correctly, correctly into the Unity uh, game engine. So you need to open the Unity Hub. Okay, uh, now you need to create a new template. So uh, this one uh, for the working of uh, uh, PBR asset properly, this one I have to go with the 3D template, not HDRP high definition because high definition uh, render pipeline and also URP has a different texture set. So you need to uh, go with the 3D template, the, the basic one. So give it a project name. Uh, PBR asset import. Okay. Let's create. Okay, our uh, empty project is just created. Wait for a bit. Okay, so we have some, uh, we have a basic scene, and that's that's it. Blank. Okay, so now. Uh, okay, now this is the model. Uh, I want to import. This is the model actually. Look here, there are seven texture set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here is the AO. AO means the ambient occlusion. Uh, base color is the base color. Emissive is the, is the lighting. And also there is a height map, metallic, normal, and roughness. So PBR textures usually comes with this seven uh textures when you export from the from the substance painter the pbr metallic roughness remember pbr metal this is pbr metallic roughness so it's usually comes from uh, uh, comes with this this seven seven materials uh okay so you just need to import them so just minimize that you just grab them all and you just drag them in the in the unity project okay that's it okay so what i actually do uh, for every time for my unity projects is the, is the fbx or a 3d 3d file 3d files so i just drop it 3d files and textures textures so you just need to grab them and put it in the folder so the organization is the main thing yeah so this is the 3d file actually this is the 3d file okay the, the fbx file and this is the tech these are the textures or maps okay so i need to drag it in the viewport double click it to extend and this one to toggle the grid okay okay so this is a basic electric box, uh, just a basic shape, electric box, and it comes with uh, with its default material. So we need to uh, we need to create a material actually. So first of all, 
we need to do something with our textures that uh, yeah you see by default unity uh, just uh, deploy you the textures uh, maximum size is it's 2048 uh, uh, size, the resolution. Okay. So all the textures will be 2048. 2048. Everything is 2048. So our texture is 4K. That is the double of this size. So what, what we have to do, we have to increase that. So we can select them all. Okay and go to here you can see here i can go further but my texture is genuine size is from the substance is 4096 so i just click on 4096 and click on apply so unity is rearranging the texture size and it's 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 now 4096 okay yeah so so the texture size is just the original uh, texture size now you have to deal with the normal map so normal click click on the normal map texture type default you just click on normal map normal map and apply okay that's done that is done so our textures is ready for for uh, for you know uh, putting in the in the material so i just create a folder again called the materials go there create a material okay electric box uh one or whatever the zero one okay electric box zero one so you see here there is albedo metallic normal height occlusion detail mask and all the things is emissive and all the things is there so okay so we need to either we can click on the material and texture so we just track the texture map to the albedo slot here and then the metallic okay the metallic will be this one is the metallic oh this one is the height okay uh, metallic is this one okay so what we can do is this uh, metallic okay go for the metallic see the changing in the you know in the in the material section and go for the height height is in a height map okay so normal is in normal okay and uh, what else uh, AO AO is the occlusion okay okay now we need okay emissive yeah emissive just click on this tick box and emissive is the emissive okay okay so that is our uh complete texture actually okay so it's 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 looking very shiny actually because of the metallic thing okay so if we can apply this texture material just drag and drop and click there you see you see this is our texture completely ready okay what you can do you can decrease the smoothness smoothness a bit 
of the meta of the metalness so i can i can i can do it as a 0 0.5 okay so that's the rustiness of the you know rustiness of the metal and emissive is working properly all the things is correctly done yeah so you see one material and here is the texture so i applied uh not not seven actually uh seven textures is there uh, seven maps is there but i applied um six Six is the albedo one, meta, metallic two, normal three, uh, height map four, uh, occlusion five, and emissive is uh, six. Okay, so roughly the six map combined of the six map is 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 this asset. You can view it. Uh, okay. You can do or rotate or whatever you, you you like. So so this is properly PBR asset done. Okay, you can you can see the the metal uh, roughness and metal uh, you know the old and rustiness of the metal. So you can see the edges is very uh, very rough kind of thing and the platform is all the things that things so all the things is co is covering by uh, one material so that is this magic material so okay i hope uh, these tricks uh, will be helpful for you uh, you can tweak the 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 map setting as uh, according to your needs and you just used to you just have to use the post processing uh, after this and then and, and use it in a in a in a in a project so that's it so i hope you enjoy this uh, these tips and i will come again with another one so thank you very much uh, thank you uh, for watching